cotton guru salutes the cotton farmers of india and across the globe this is 2019 the year has started with lot of hope and expectations for the cotton farmers the farmers were hoping that the cotton prices would go up in that hope and expectation they have stocked the cotton with them many of the farmers have cotton with them especially in india so the farmers keep on emailing sending us whatsapp messages said when will this market go up some farmers are even worried that will the market ever go up again the cotton prices have fallen drastically from the october levels of 5600 to 6000 rupees per quintal to the current levels of 5000 to 5600 rupees per quintal what is the reason for that why are the markets falling in spite of a low cotton crop in india indian cotton crop as per the cai is expected to fall from 365 lakh bales to 335 lakh bales then why are the cotton prices not going up my farmer friends there are two main reasons for that one is the domestic market second is the international market in the domestic market the yarn and fabric markets are not doing well at all your fa- your buyers are the ginning factories who who make cotton bales and they in turn sell to the spinning mills who make the yarn both these markets not doing well at all there is very very weak demand and the, there there is a payment crisis in these two markets that is why the buyers are not very keen to buy the cotton at very high prices and the reason we see uh, the result we see is that the seed cotton prices the kapas prices are going down secondly the international market america is the highest exporter of raw cotton and we have seen american ice futures fall from 85 cents per pound levels to the current 70 to 74 cents per pound levels this fall my friends basically is because there is no buying in american cotton to that extent which was expected china their biggest buyer is not buying cotton due to the trade war and uh, if this trade war continues for a longer period of time the, the cotton prices will definitely be under pressure but there is a ray of hope in 2019 on the 9th of january that is yesterday there was a meeting in beijing between us and chinese officials and as per the understanding china will now continue to buy cotton and soya bean from from the us and if these things happen immediately the us prices will go up and subsequently the indian seed cotton prices are also expected to go up but if things don't materialize as expected then things will take time and we cannot predict the actual period but it may be 2 3 months when the cotton prices will again go up basically because then demand will take over the fundamentals will take over the 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 current crisis that is happening in the market so what do we do from here we suggest that the cotton farmer should sell off the cotton as much as the expenses they have incurred and the rest of the cotton they can keep for a better signal of the market if the trade war dissipates and if if the cotton prices go up again then they can benefit or if the demand crops up due to the lower crop then again they can get the benefit this can take anywhere between 8 days to 2 3 months of period and uh, we hope this happens as soon as possible as far as uh, uh, the cotton farmers are concerned and uh, secondly our suggestion cotton guru suggestion to the cotton farmers is don't have a list of demands towards the government you do whatever you can but if you wish to demand something you ask for two main things one is best quality of seeds suitable to indo indian agro climatic conditions we must have access to the best quality of seeds so that the farmer can get the best of the output our yield must go up that is the only way to make profit my friends second thing is 24 hours of electricity every industry every individual has right to electricity why not a farmer why not a cotton farmer so demand two things from a gov from the government one is the best of the seeds suitable to the indian conditions second is 24 hours of electricity both these things put together will give you a long term gain and i'm sure with your expertise and with our knowledge and our uh, engagement together we can make cotton agriculture profitable again and what can we do till those de- demands are met by the government you can prepare your soil such that it sustains low and high rainfall both ways you can see examples of brazil australia they have an a very unique way of of preparing the soil my friends we invite you that you also do the same way so that you can sustain this uh, periods of low low rainfall or even high rainfall if need be second thing is irrigation make 
ample use of the irrigation scheme that the government is ha having and uh, build check dams though do not that do not cost very high make fpos make groups and you, you can avail lot of benefits from the government the third thing that we suggest you do is educate yourself in soft marketing skills cotton guru has been helping you all along during our workshops and our interactions in doing so any help that we can extend from our end we will be most happy to do that have marketing skills so that when you increase your production and you can sell your cotton at a high price there is nothing that can stop you from making profits the only mission cotton guru is carrying right now with the farmers is profitable agriculture agriculture has to be profitable to survive to sustain it is good for the farmers good for the country good for the earth on the whole best wishes to you all my farmer friends from cotton guru for 2019